I got a question for you. Are you truly free? If you look at human history, you've been, we've been fighting for freedom for our entire history as humans. We've been fighting for freedom from danger of dangerous animals with razor blades on their hands and fangs and things that can kill us very easily. We've been fighting for the safety of our families from other tribes, uh, fighting from the tyranny of, of kings and other nations that we are not a part of, fighting for our own liberty as humans, as we see in America and in the, in, the, uh, in the War of Independence. They created a free society where each individual had their own rights and freedoms. Now we think we have this freedom. We've basically got freedom from. We've got freedom from a lot of dangers. We got freedom from certain uncertainties. Uh, that's a myth, but we've got uh, freedom from a lot. Freedom from having to do the dangerous things that once required uh, safety. So we've got this freedom from, but I don't think we actually have freedom. And I think it's something that we need to think about as men because men need freedom like nothing else. We need freedom because the less we have of it, the more our soul just gets crushed and broken down. And then you have these guys committing suicide. You have these guys who just don't feel like man and they don't know where to start. So we start with freedom. You got to have freedom physically. If you are not able physically to do dangerous things, to go on adventures, to go hunting, hiking, fishing, to, uh, to take care of yourself, to take care of your family with your own two hands, you're not free. You have to train your body. That is the baseline uh, existence of freedom. Then we got to look at financial freedom. We can't have the, we can use debt because money's cheap right now, but we can't have the cloud of debt, credit card debt, uh, and, and various sources of debt that we have now that just crushes us. It's like a weight over our shoulders that we can't break free from. And we usually have control over this. We buy things we don't need to impress people we don't care about. Uh, we buy things that on a whim, we buy things because of marketing. We don't even realize that we're being mar marketed to. We need financial freedom. That is, that comes from two sources. You got to make more money and you got to spend less money on stupid shit. For guys, making money is important. We don't talk about it enough, but money gives you so much freedom. Money gives you the freedom to not be under the thumb of the government. The, the government, uh, if you have true wealth, the government can take half away, they can take whatever away, but you're still going to be self-sustaining. You can move wherever you want in the world. You can go wherever you want in the world if you have true financial freedom. That's very important. Um, spiritual freedom, I don't know what you believe or what you, whatever, but read a book called Man's Search for Meaning. I think that helps with the essence of, of spiritual freedom. We need to understand that there is meaning in whatever suffering we're going through. We're not victims. Everything is perspective. No matter what you're going through, no matter what the pain is you're facing right now, no matter what suffering you're facing right now, even if it's a monotony of your life, even it's, if it's, why am I here? What am I here to do? Uh, it, it feels like this existence isn't for a genuine purpose. Read Man's Search for Meaning because everything is perspective. And to end this quick video, uh, you are here to do awesome things. I'm here to do awesome things. Uh, we're not here for mediocrity. So every, uh, a lot of people think they get stuck in this, this, um, trap of being who they've been up to this point. You could change that, uh, immediately just with a change of perspective, a change in audacity of what you're trying to accomplish and so forth. And, um, all this stuff we're going through, it's all perspective. When you see things in the right light, when you see things, when you see the benefit of discipline, the benefit of suffering, that's where you're going to make uh, leaps and bounds. And you're going to see the lessons you get from the hardship and how ease actually brings more destruction than anything. You're going to struggle regardless. It's just about how you struggle. Are you going to struggle with the attitude of, okay, I'm going to make something of this? Or are you going to struggle with the attitude of poor me? One's going to help you win. One's going to help you. One's going to make you lose in life. So that's where freedom comes in, in a lot of ways, is how you struggle. Are you going to be a victim or are you going to be a conqueror? That's it. I have a quick uh, little gift for you down below. It's called uh, How to Be the Man. If you want to pick that up, it's free. Uh, if not, don't worry. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Like and share down below and really think about how you're free, what thoughts 
are keeping you from being free because normally our own captivity is within our own mind. All right, man, get after it. Take care.